I would like to introduce with pride the Herman Nelson BT1.2M flameless heater. Manufactured to our specs by Multitech North America of Prentice, Wisconsin, this appliance delivers 1.2 million BTU with a heat rise of over 200 degrees and air delivery of 500 CFM with 5.5 inches of static pressure. The place to start is with a quick discussion of flameless heat. The principle is simple. When running an engine, approximately one-third of the energy is lost to ambient air, one-third of the energy is lost to the cooling of the engine, and one-third of the energy is transferred to the drive of the engine. Using heat transfer technology, the heat from each of these three components is recovered. The cabinet of the heater is tightly sealed and insulated. When the heater is operational, it's almost impossible to open the large door due to back pressure. If you open the small viewing window, the outlet discharge temperature will fall rapidly depending on ambient air. In minus 30, the outlet temperature will fall 30 degrees in 30 seconds when you introduce cold air because it's not directed through the heat exchangers behind the louvers. The engine coolant heat is extracted by use of a heat exchanger. The flywheel end of the engine is used to power a special dynamic heat generator, which is at rotating plates which shear mobile hydraulic fluid or synthetic ATF to create heat. By use of heat extraction technology, these BTUs are accumulated with the engine radiator heat, the engine exhaust heat, the surplus engine heat, and all of this is, and in addition to the recovered heat plate heat, is delivered to give maximum efficiency at discharge. Starting at the bottom up, I'd like to acquaint you with the unit. It's 188 inches long, 82 inches wide, 98 inches tall. The appliance weighs 7,240 pounds dry, carries 315 gallons US of fuel, which equates to 26 to 28 hours of runtime at full load. The heater we are showing you comes standard with dual tandem axles, providing maximum towing stability while protecting your asset as it rolls down the road. Remember some of those uh, gravel site access roads are none too friendly. From the bottom up, I'd like you to note the gravel guard protection to the front of the fuel tank and the fenders. The robust construction of the fenders provides a step for personnel to access the top of the appliance. The unit has a removable tongue for easier storage or a smaller footprint on, on the work site. The tank itself has secondary spill containment and is UN 31A certified. Starting in 2014, fleets in Canada are required to have percentages of their units using these certified tanks. Please note the four tie-down hooks at the four corners, so that if ever this unit is to be flat deck or trailer transported, tie-down is a non-issue. There are four jack points on the corners and one on the tongue. This allows you to lift or level a unit at any time, in any place, for any reason. The unit comes with a 2 and 5 16 tow ball setup, and pintle hooks are an option. Please note, neoprene cold weather wiring remaining flexible to, to minus 50 will be standard on all units starting in 2014-15 heating season. This unit is electric brake equipped and is very tow friendly. Again, from personal experience, please adjust your tow speeds to tow conditions, please, on, especially on site access roads. The cabinet of the unit utilizes return seam construction with a tough powder coat finish and all bolts above the trailer are stainless steel optionally to limit exposure to corrosion. While still on the exterior of the unit, I'd like to make note of four features. The emergency shutoff switch, the master shutoff switch, the cold weather preheat plug and the external service oil drains. The emergency shutoff switch is just that, a kill switch for this unit only, operated manually at the unit. The master cutoff switch is a way of this particular unit is to be connected to a site shutdown system. The heater can be remotely shut off when connected to a site safety system. The cold weather preheat plug is a central connection for your three preheat systems. This particular unit is equipped with a block heater, an oil pan heater, and a battery bank. All these systems are centrally wired to make cold weather preheat a simple one-step task. Next season, watch for the fuel filter preheater so you always start with warm fuel. I have personal experience in minus 50 where a heater was left unattended for many days and when preheated, successful start took 45 minutes. 
While we're still on the exterior of the heater, please look up at the operational beacon. This is a three-way indicator, green for operational, red for non-operational, amber for low fuel. The low fuel indicator light can be set or adjusted at the master controller to strobe and fuel levels from 5 to 50%, adjusted in increments of 5% at your choice. While still at the top of the unit, you may or may not be able to see the lifting hook, but I've climbed up using the fenders as a step, and if ever you need to lift the unit, the hook is in place. The heated air exiting the heater is standard with two 16-inch discharge that are parallel to the ground. This discharge can be adapted to 412s or 220s. All of these configurations come parallel to ground or at 45 degree angle to ground options. Please consult your sales rep for the order that would best serve you. Before leaving the exterior of the unit, I want to return to the rear of the unit and point out the automated louvers. This allows for the regulation of airflow and outlet temperature while the unit is unattended. I have two comments. When towing, please lock the louvers to ensure you do not compromise the effectiveness or damage the heat exchanger. You may also blow the plastic cap off the back of the discharge outlet. I only know, I only know this because I've done it. When putting the appliance back into service, be mindful to unlock the louver before going into automated mode because you don't want to burn out your actuator. Now we have the privilege of opening the door to look inside the heater. Aside from the fit and finish and obvious pride of manufacture, the first thing to notice is the way the master controller is mounted. Not only can you access the heat generator, but the entire operational system is easily accessible. The next thing to note is the master electrical shutoff switch. Once the power is on, you can turn on the interior light or go straight to engine startup. If we turn the light on, the quality of this heater and the attention to detail are immediately evident. Please look over at the dual 1050 cold crank amp batteries provided complete with heat blanket and the upgraded high conductive copper cable that gets the cranking power from the battery to the engine starter. As previously mentioned, this is part of our cold weather package that gets your heater running when you probably don't even want to go outside. While you're looking in that direction, please note the, fuel, the fill point of the fuel tank. Located at the lower right corner of the battery, it is the fill point for the 315-gallon, 110% spill-contained tank. This heater is powered by a John Deere diesel that produces 200 horsepower at 2400 RPM. The John Deere engine comes with a standard two-year, 2,000-hour warranty that is upgradable to five years, 5,000 hours, and can be used at any John Deere ag or construction dealer. Be aware of the fact that the belts, the fuel filters, and the air filters on this unit are commonly available at your local John Deere dealer or even at Napa. All these parts are non-proprietary. The power is applied to an Island City heat generator that is ceramic bearing equipped and the heat is transferred by the use of, of mobile hydraulic oil that will handle cold temperatures as well as high temperatures without breaking down. You can use a synthetic ATF and, the, and a heat converter to provide BTUs at the discharge outlet. The transfer fluid reservoir holds 25 gallons that requires changing every 2,000 operational hours. This unit should have daily inspections at startup. Oil level, coolant level, you should be on top of this every day and regular service at 250 hour intervals. Please notice the purpose-built positive displacement fan. This delivers a high volume of air with leading static pressure. The sound attenuating insulation helps maintain high temperatures for delivery to where the heat is needed and also maintains a comfortable noise level during operation. All hose clamps are T-bolt style with high tack sealant versus the worm gear, worm gear style that always seem to leak. This machine is designed and built to last far longer than others in the market and keep running day and night carefree with only normal maintenance. Remember, nothing runs like a deer. Now it's time to discuss the startup. Please close all cabinet doors, check to ensure the automated louver is unlocked and you're ready to go. The first step is to turn the key on and wait. The automated controller will whine at you for a couple of seconds while running through its procedures and when the sound ends, simply turn the key to start. 
Both the startup and shutdown procedures are automated so no operator intervention is required. In theory, operator error is eliminated. The IC3D controller is user-friendly and programmable just like your cell phone. By scrolling through the menu, you will find everything you need to operate the unit to your liking. Increase or decrease the RPM with one touch of a button. Display setup is adjusted at the controller. Outlet target temperature is set and programmed automatically. The louver control is also operated for the master controller. Don't forget to unlock the louvers at the front of the unit before you start. The fuel level indicator can be programmed through the controller. The range of notification can be set to inform you when you are 15% fuel on board or more at your pleasure. This unit is equipped with a low level fuel cutoff so you will not be able to run the engine dry. Please consult your John Deere manual for particulars on the engine operation and maintenance. Before leaving the master control area, please note the surplus power 12 volt direct current delivered at the bottom right corner of the control panel. This will allow you power for diagnostics. You can plug in your laptop, a work light, or even charge your cell phone. I want to come around the opposite side of the appliance to show the positive air shutoff feature that makes this unit BOP compliant. This heater is designed with a 1% overrun tolerance, at which point, 2425 RPM, the unit goes into shutdown mode. This is regulated by a RevGuard rev controller and a Rotodeco valve that is incorporated into the master, is incorporated into the master control system. This feature, along with the master shutdown switch, makes this unit market-leading safety smart. This concludes my video introduction to the BT-1.2M flameless heater. Before I go, I have two points to address. I want to thank the folks at Multitech. Doug Camps, Mike Dunlevy, the engineering and support staff, all the people for building such a fine heater and helping us bring this product to market. Then I want to thank you, the viewer, for taking the time to watch this video, which is not exactly the most exciting video you've ever seen. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our office. We'll be happy to help you address all your flameless heater, uh, heater needs and make sure that everything works to your requirements. And in the end, as a salesman, I have to ask you, please buy the heater. Thanks very much.